it is evaporating and becoming human. So it's just like, oh, cool. And it, it got real bad real quick. But guess what? Howdy, howdy, everyone. How's it going today? Hopefully, uh, things are working. I am not sure how bad everything sounds or looks. But howdy, lovely bear. How are you today? Hopefully, uh, hopefully this is working. We're also having a really bad storm right now. So I'm hoping that, uh, that that doesn't interfere with things. Um, so it has been a doozy. As you can see, I am not where I normally am. Um, I have moved all of my shit up downstairs finally. You can see the big old pile of my brother's shit. And a reflection of my Twitch dashboard. Not sure how I feel about that. Can't see anything in it. It's just weird. Hmm. Um, but yeah, let me know, so, things are broken, but you know what's not broken? Mario! 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 I'm fairly certain those came through. Um, I want to test out, because there are certain things I can only test out while live, so, you're all going to have to deal with that. Where the hell is my mouse? There we go. Um, ignore the background sounds. Um, no, he changed this thing lately. to be working. Albeit very loud. Okay. Those work. Apparently. So that's good. Um, there, there are certain things that aren't working. I no longer have a convenient easy button for daddy cam. Uh, so that's, that'll be a, uh, problem when we get to it um otherwise everything else seems to be going all right anywho i reckon it's time we uh go ahead and get into it um as always if there's any audio issues any uh visual issues let me know i will try to adjust them as best i can um, I also am going for low-hanging fruit here. Um, we are playing the original Resident Evil, because, well, for one, I didn't really do a full, like, extended thing on it when I originally did it. I just did a, um, did it as a casual Sunday stream, because at the time it was the first game um, I didn't, I didn't have it coinciding with the, uh, remake like I do now. So I've been wanting to redo this one for a while, and good old games just re-released it on, a or, uh, just released it on PC. It's the original, uh, 1997 PC version. I am not playing it vanilla, though. I did add the, um... Genesis mod, I think it's called, which just kind of like cleans up a bunch of things. It's like a bunch of quality of life stuff, but it is for the most part the original PC port. Um, fixes the frame rate and the cutscenes primarily. Um, but yeah, what say we go ahead and get to it? 
new game. We're gonna start off real easy. Which, this is actually a um, Japanese thing, and one of the first things you'll notice from the original to the uh, current version, underneath of, uh, because Dad and Mata had to use the Japanese version, but underneath you'll notice it actually says easy and hard. The Western releases didn't tell you this. Um, it just had Jill and Chris. Jill is the easy version. And this is also a thing that uh, we haven't seen on the saddle. The uncut intro cutscene. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots Bravo Team. Who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently By the way, a ton in of gore and uh whatnot there here. Are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Just something real quick. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. I need sound to happen. I can't tell if it. Okay, no, that is only in my headphones. Which, by the way, the little hey, rubber earpiece. Keeps coming off in my ear, which is fun and not annoying at all. Man, I, I really miss live action uh, cutscenes. Like back in the day, it used to be a more prevalent thing. Technically speaking, I still get my live action cutscenes, don't I? Because, like, Alan Wake had a bunch of them. Um, no! I'm sure oh, other no! games I've played recently have some. I feel like I'm looking very far this way. Which means I might have to reset my Bill, whole system. Look for that house. I might have to move my monitors further over. But I do. I feel like I'm like very much looking. Okay, windows. We. Chris Redfield. And then you get this banger music. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. I am slightly younger than Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Oof. Albert Wesker. Also, how is Wesker and Barry the same age? How's that make Resident sense? Evil. They've escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Antario, howdy. How are you? Stop it. Don't open that door. But Chris is. What I've is played it? this a time or two. Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill. Jill. Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stop. 
Stay dealing alert. with the headaches again. Oh, I hate to hear that. Have, uh, have they been consistent? Like, again? I reckon the, uh... Because they put... They put you on new medicine for A it, didn't they? Room. So, just real quick, a couple of the features that this game at, or that the uh, mods added, kind of get consistent. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, quick turns, which is a quality of life thing. What? What is this? What the is only it? thing we're missing from the Blood. DS port, other than a whole Jill, game mode. See if you can find any other clues. Game modes, I'll be examining this. Is um. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Is the knife button? We do not have a knife button, but we do have the original models. Started on the fifth of this month. It is the seventeenth, Ontario. It's been. Like constant since the fifth, or is it come and gone since the fifth? Because one of those is far more horrible sounding than the other. But here's the other thing they added: door skips. Some consistent, some come and go. Ooh. We're trying to nope away from the zombie. Which you actually, in this one, you can kill that zombie. With the ammo you have on you, you can. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. There we go. I do. What is it? I do a. Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by how this, this creature. Port doesn't. Anyway, let's report this. They don't to allow Wesker. you to modify the audio in any way. There's no audio options. One thing though that's happening. Oh, something good at least. What's up? I feel like I'm setting up for a joke, but you know. Wesker. But like I'm glad Help me look for him, Jill. Doctor's and don't leave his hall for the time oh, being. tomorrow morning? Like in the AM? Find anything, Jill? Nothing. Hopefully the uh, doctor what will give you something. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Like beats me too. Now I it's Wesker's time it's like... to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, this well, morning technically caused it. can't be helped. Let's search for him Fair. separately. I'll check the dining room Time again. is a flat circle. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble but if we get lost. But hopefully they can give you something to give you some We should start from this. the first floor, you know. okay? And... Jill, here's I've a lockpick. I've been dealing pick. with uh, toothaches. Lately. It might be handy if you, the I master of unlocking, and take it with you. Worse. And, uh, it has been bothering Thanks. me a lot. Thanks. Maybe I'll Game need it. louder than me. Thank you. There we go. Is that better? Listen, um, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. If, uh, if you hear anything weird, if anything sounds off, be there. it was hard to hear. Ah, got you. Like I said, one of the problems is this game doesn't have audio control. Like, I can't turn down the background music. And it do be kind of loud sometimes. We're gonna make a quick little sojourn this way to get a little sun, sun. Poor Kenneth. Poor, poor Kenneth. Kenneth is the one I have. I've lost the thread. What do you mean? But Kenneth has 60 ha or uh, 30 handgun bullets on him. Kenneth didn't fire a goddamn round. Um. So. Why don't we just 
Lakers lead. Oh, right. The dogs. But otherwise, this is a pretty good port. Also, that's the only time you can see that uh, camera angle looking from above. I hope you all enjoyed it. That one lone camera angle. Um, but the PC version was considerably easier in most ways than the, uh, than the PlayStation version, which most people play this on, or most people when they played this originally, played it on the PlayStation. They didn't, uh, this is set, it is set in 1998, it came out in 1996, so it was mildly futuristic at the time. Oh no, dog. So yeah. Um, one of the one of the earliest jump scares I can remember in a video game. They're the outskirts of Raccoon City. Exactly. You... You know it. Um, takes place in the Arcalay Mountains. But another fun thing that the mod that I have installed adds to this, that's the one I have. Yeah, well, if it's for the original PlayStation, there's either this one, um, Resident Evil 2, which takes place in a city with Leon and Claire and its two discs. And this one, there's either the original or the uh, director's cut. The director's cut, I think, was more popular. More people played that. And then there's also DualShock versions of the director's cut. On Xbox, I haven't played it much. I actually don't know if this is on on Xbox. You might have one of the remake. You might have the remake of this then. I think the remake of it is. But the original isn't. Um, this room is completely useless. See? Nothing useful. Um, yeah, the remake is a real good game, to be fair. Um, that came out in 2001. And was the gold standard. Like, I'm not even kind of, like, being a fanboy about this. Resident Evil 1 Remake was the gold standard for remakes for a very, very long time. Um, it was, it was how you did a remake. They re, they redid everything where it looked good. This one on the Xbox was 2015, but didn't say remake. Yeah, usually it's just called Resident Evil 1. Um... Oh no, it's locked. Oh no, it's locked. Whatever will I do? Um, yeah, I think 2015 is when they remastered it, which is pretty much just adding modern hey, resolution. What's going on? Up. So the way they did the backgrounds in that is really impressive. Is that you, Jill? Those backgrounds are like Perry? an oh, early please. version of super sampling because it's still fixed camera angles. You're essentially walking around Jay. They made those backgrounds so Hurry. massive this way. that you can play that game in such a high resolution and it still looks beautiful. Oh, Barry. That was too close. And you it's extremely stylized, but they sandwich. fixed everything. You're right. By the way, one Barry, of the most famous lines in video games life. happened. You were almost a Jill Sandwich. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back um, to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. That's not... Now, let's get back to searching not for the lost at all, Captain Barry. Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh. 
I just heard a little pop in my headphones. And I don't know if it was the game. Oh. Joe's just moved in a weird way. There's a weird little bit of popping. So this zombie ain't dead. Is he? Never mind, he dead. Okay. I'm sitting here trying to stab a dead zombie. Like a fool. I have unlocked it. But one of the many ways that Joe is easy mode is that you can get the shotgun immediately. Like, she has more inventory spots. I think Chris has six and she has eight. She'll be in bed soon because the appointment is for 9 a.m. You know that I'm walking there. Ooh. How, how bad has the uh, heat been there? I know you're a bit further north, so you might not be getting it as bad, but I can't imagine it's that much better. Um, so, you know, hopefully that, that isn't a horrible, horrible problem for you. And here's where I organize my item box like a fucking crazy person. Combine. Combine. There we go. 70s to 80s. I'm hoping you mean Fahrenheit. I'm going to assume you mean Fahrenheit because I'm pretty sure 70 to 80. 70 to 80 in Celsius would be, you know, on fire. Um, but if you noticed, I just saved... Without an ink ribbon, I'd be dead if Celsius. If, there would be issues. To say the least, there would be issues. The first time through as Jill, if you're playing as a straight new game as Jill, you don't need ink ribbon. I don't know why. The game gives you more than enough ink ribbons. That was unintentional. <laughs> Welcome in, Zagboo. How are you? Zagboo just resubscribed for 22 months. Also, love holy that you shit, are matching months. her and love the new BG. That's, uh... Welcome in, Zagboo. Once again, thank you for the 22 months. Holy shit, that is a long time. But here's the new background. You can see the weird... You can see the weird reflection of my uh, Twitch uh, dashboard. I'm actually thinking about swapping the uh, the couch and the chair, but I'm not sure yet. The recliner is definitely a uh, mood though, the big old brown recliner. Frizz is always an ominous green lighting. No. No, that is the that is the accent lighting, which also did a great job hiding. You can see the cord. It's so hard to point to things looking at a monitor. You can see the cord right here for it, but I did like hide it like out of frame. The blue light behind me up here is out of frame. My hair lights up here out of frame, which by the way, they are all hung on the ceiling so I don't have to break them down every time. Um, the lamp that I use for actual lighting is here. Today it's going to rain, but I have to be at my appointment back home before it starts. Hopefully. I got caught in the rain today. It sucked. I do not recommend it. We're having like a massive thunderstorm right now. Um, but yeah. New backgrounds all backgrounding. I do have to turn. We can see the big old pile of my brother's shit. That, I, that is currently occupying half my kitchen. and my little TV tray that I keep my remote on. It thundered for like five minutes. Yeah, it's that heat, it's that heat lightning and thunder. Um, like it's, during the summer we usually get a little bit of it, but today it like stormed. I'm hoping it doesn't knock out my internet. 
Um, there we go. I also am unintentionally matching Joe. I did not deliberately pick a blue t-shirt today. That was my last couple weeks been a living hell. How have you been? Um, a living hell. <laughs> Uneventful. I heard your, um, I saw on your Discord that your interview went well. Happy to hear it. I just wasted a bullet. So, another little fun difference, the PC version, specifically in Japan, have the little pictures behind the words. In the American version, it's just words. Yeah, I got the official offer today. Hell yeah. Let's, where's my air horn? Hell yeah. Let's go. By the way, if there's any issue with sound or anything like that, please let me know. I do not have this figured out, and everything is held together by a thread, and I'm terrified it's going to explode at any second. Um, all sounds are sounding great. Thank you. Um, but hell yeah. You got an offer. See what classes they offer you. I figured that would be a thing that would be part of the interview, but I don't understand how teaching works, so... Hopefully you get good ones. Not like math or some shit. Uh, last few weeks have been headaches, laying down most of my days. I'll move my Xbox from the other room of the house, my bedroom. Ooh, actually, Antario, you're probably a good person. By the way, sorry to hear about the headaches and, like, I get wanting to lay down and, you know, do the normal migraine headache thing. Like, completely understandable. Is there a way to turn off Are You Still Awake on YouTube through the Xbox? Because I use the Xbox One in my bedroom to watch YouTube videos while I go to bed. Because I can't be left alone in the silence or else the bad thoughts happen. Is there a way to turn off the, are you still watching? Because I have not been able to figure that out yet. Uh, thankfully, I will not get math. Hell yeah. Essentially, you apply to a pool where the biology department will be like, there are these classes we need taught. Which do you want slash can you do each semester? Okay, that sounds reasonable. I mean, you could take up your true passion, botany. On the Xbox, I have a timer that turns any video off on my phone, but obviously it doesn't work on console. Yeah, it's like, so I built a thing recently. I have this old laptop sitting over here under my TV. They offer me botany. I would be intrigued. Your true calling. We all know you. We all know you're actually a botanist. I don't think so. Damn it! I was so hopeful. I was worried that's what you're gonna say, but I figured I know you use a lot for like watching things on your Xbox. So I thought you might have some secret, like hacker thing. Um, so I built this thing called a pie hole. I literally have just like my old dead laptop, my old like crappy laptop. I installed Ubuntu on it, and it's just running, it's just running a, uh, like, all the time. I don't have the battery in it. I don't leave videos playing on my Xbox when I sleep. That's fair. Some people sleep in silence. Some people, like me, need noise and light. Both are valid. Um, but I have my, my laptop over here is just running a pie hole constantly. It's just connected to the internet and just doing its thing. It's kind of like a server. But on a Toshiba laptop that was built sometime around 2012. And I found out after I put it together that, oh, it doesn't block YouTube ads. Then what the fuck's the point? Because it ain't like I go on enough websites where ads are an issue. So now it's just running until I figure something out. Because that is horrendous. Yeah, apparently the ads for YouTube come from the same... What are you doing, Steam Deck? Steam Deck? 
I'm like panicking because Steam Deck all of a sudden is hiccuping and I'm worried I'm not live. That I'm going to take a nap. No, it's just a me with a stupid looking face staring at me now. I am still live. I figured when back and forth is happening, it's easy to tell, but thank you. My bitrate don't look great. Um, but yeah, like, I don't like light, but I put on music or a movie, but I turn off my screen. Ah, see, I'm using a monitor, so like if I turn off the screen, there's no audio, which is weird. From 2011 has audio issues and doesn't run well and not plugged in. Yeah, battery's probably old. Although, to be fair, don't you also have an old Toshiba satellite? I feel like we've had this conversation before where you and I have very similar laptops. But yeah, no, I, I put a Ubuntu on it. So now it's a Linux computer. I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a couple other things to see if I can get some more fun things thrown in there. But we'll see. I'm thinking maybe a um, maybe a VPN. You know that would start hosting my own VPN. Probably, but mine is Toshiba. Yeah, uh, mine is a Toshiba as well. Satellite's the model. I think most of their. I think most of their laptops were satellites, quote unquote. Six hundred gigabytes. That was a lot back in the day. All right, let me let me read this thing so I can continue playing this game. Botanary book about medicinal herbs. As you may know, there are many plants that have med medical effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of those plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as a medical plant. The green one recovers physical strength. The blue one neutralizes toxins, while the red does not have any effect by itself. The red is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs. For example, if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicine. But I'll leave the details in your hands, because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. I have like 32 or 64 gigabytes, still 4 mm -hmm. gigs of RAM. 4 gigs of RAM is not enough in 2024. Four gigs of RAM hasn't been enough for like ten years. Like, that's one of those things where I'm like, no, you, you really have to like, like that's one of those kinds of uh. Oh shit, shit, shit! I forgot about you. I heard him at the last second. Um, Barry! Barry! Jill, what's going on? But yeah, no, Any like, clues? I, no, every so often I'll look at new laptops, and it's like, oh, house. all of them kind of suck. Whoa! It's like, this hall is dangerous. And may, it might be because I'm, Maybe it's better to like, secure our kind of picky. First. And there yeah, I feel like if I buy something, I want it to be able somewhere. to do things. Let's try to find And I also don't play first, games where it's, like, low intensity, as I'm okay. playing a fucking video game Let's from 1996. Again. Just a moment. I found something. Um. What is it? It's a weapon. It does. It's really powerful. Mine does have a disc drive. Especially against living things. Better take it with you. Um, but I'll look at laptops now and again and it's just like, why I would I buy this? This. Thank you. I'll take this then. I have this. You got the acid rounds. Bye, Barry. I love you. Man, if only I had a gun I could put acid rounds in. Hey, look, a dead teammate. And a gun I could put acid rounds in. Will you take the grenade gun? You're goddamn right I will. So, you know what's funny? They... Do they called the grenade gun in this version. 
I'm fairly certain in most of the other versions, it's referred to as the bazooka. It's Forrest. He's been pecked to death by crows. That's a weird observation to make. Because none of that looks like he's been pecked to get death. Maybe like the wounds on his leg. But like the exposed rib cage up here doesn't scream birds to me. Let's just run away from them crows. This must be forest. I should have examined that beforehand. I've I honestly didn't know that there was a text dialogue to that. I've never examined that blood. Well, I've had some times, but I do. And I don't know. I don't make money. People hire people. I got no new information from employment center. Been over a month. Can you post it? Yeah, you, you were saying a while ago that they were supposed to do some uh, training or something for you, weren't they? Like, oof. Sucks to hear, man. I have two. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oof. That's rough, like that, because it ain't like there's like, it ain't like it's really any fault of yours. You're just kind of dealing with what they're like giving you. Oh, I am low on handgun ammo. Oof. I need to be more economical about my bullets. Economical. Economy. Exploding. You know. Those things. Once again, pretty useless room for Jill. Them about going around being this tonight, Ralph. Realistically, I probably could. But, I intend on making a meal of this. Um, like, this is it. To be fair, I, because of how things have been lately, but you'd have to focus too. Oh, 100%. I would, I would have to actually pay attention. Which, let's be real, we all know I'm not gonna fucking do that. Um, but yeah, I did. I did pick this specifically because it's low-hanging fruit. Like I know this game, I know this game well, and I can get through it fairly easily. God damn it, die! You are not going to be the first one to hurt me, you stupid scrub-ass zombie. I should have brought the shotgun with me. Um. But yeah, like, I picked, I picked doing this because A, I have been carrying the shot wherever and don't use it like me. Um. Now, I'll use it. Because, once again, if you don't end a Resident Evil game with, you know, 40 Hank, or 40, um, 40, uh, Magnum rounds, did you really beat a Resident Evil game? Well, if there's a super secret boss that nobody's ever heard of, just that happened somehow, then what? You'll need those Magnum rounds. Don't give me this I'm not in the right place to use it bullshit game. You and I both know I'm here. The, the thing about the original, it'd be one more centimeter left, exactly. The thing about original Resident Evil games, like the PlayStation era Resident Evils, is 100% that 
once you clear out a place, unless you, like, actively leave the area, like, you leave the mansion to go to the guard house, you've cleared that area. New shit ain't gonna show up. So, like, it is worthwhile to just kind of, like, murder everything in your path and then do all your running around. And this is also, like, most of the healing items I will need for the game in this room. Like, maybe a couple more, I think, the boiler room ones, or the, uh, the terrace, rather. Herbs, I'll take those too, just to be safe. But I guarantee you I will get through most of this game and not need most of the health I'm going to pick up. I'm going to do an item box trip real quick. I've used the mansion key. My mansion keys are still upstairs. I have to remember that. Oh, by the way, what mansion key did we get? It's the armor key. Which, look how good that model looks. Like, that model looks real nice. The armor is clearly flat, but, like, not bad for, like, you know, for a modern port of a game that came out on Windows 98. Like, like, the models look pretty good. Like, they did a pretty good... Like, Good Old Games did a pretty good job at this. Although, they do a thing that kind of annoys me. Um, they are more about preservation and making it work on modern systems than they are about modernizing anything. Which I understand their point. Oh, no. Ah. Um... That was supposed to be scary. Okay with the one shot. Listen, the, the shotgun is cruise control. Alright? If you have shotgun shells, every zombie is just trivial. Keeper's Diary. May 8th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott, the guard. Alias, and Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up, suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looked like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard, I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th, 1998. Been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. Fuck them bitches. May 13th, 1998. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back, and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They've been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. I got 99 problems and bitches are all of them. May 15th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time. But I stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. Oh God.
they are more about preservation and making it work on modern systems than they are about modernizing anything. Which I understand their point. Oh no. Ah. Um, that was supposed to be scary. It's okay with the one shot. <laughs> Listen, the, the shotgun is cruise control. All right, if you have shotgun shells, every zombie is just trivial. I'm not wrong. I said what I said. Um, thank you for the clip, Jagboo. Um, but yeah, no, like, shotgun shells are more precious, but like, it's one shot, one kill if you do it right. Um, also, it's supposed to be a jump scare, but I've literally been playing this game for 25 years. I'm sorry. How long ago was 1990, uh... 1996? Yeah, I've been playing this game for 28 years. Like, I've been playing this game longer than some of you have been alive. <laughs> like... <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I did just a moment ago go... Oh, I didn't know there was a text dialogue that changes after you took Sea Forest. Yeah, there are new things I don't know about this game, but like... Yeah, I've... I've been around the block a time or two with this. And this isn't even my favorite one. This isn't even my favorite. That one comes later. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from the mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry, eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Poor, itchy, tasty. I love that journal. That's one of the best bits of writing in this game. Like, it is terrifying and slow and like, they do so well with that. You know? Let's grab this music here. We're just gonna a fine grand piano, a fine piano. That's the Moonlight Sonata. Well, to be fair, I knew that there was a uh, text box. Of course, I have examined the blood before, but I've never examined it on my way back, only on my way towards. It's neat that the dialogue changed that, like, now she knows Forrest is dead. You know. Like, that's a neat little touch. I like that. I forgot to grab the emblems. And the property damage I caused a moment ago. They did no effort to, uh, make that almost ran right by it. They made no effort to make the Zill portrait look any better, though. Like, it's smaller on your screen because of, you know, my whole overlay. But, like, it is rough-looking on my screen. Everything else looks pretty serviceable. Like, I can see the pixels along, like, the edges. Which would have looked better on a CRT. Like, admittedly, like... If I was playing this on a CRT and not a monitor, or not a modern, you know, 1440p monitor, like, it would look a little less jagged in the edges. But, like, the character model looks particularly smooth. You know? Although, to be fair, the, the way the shadow is on Jill's face, it kind of looks like she has a very wispy, like, dirt mustache. Like a teenage boy trying to grow a mustache. 
It's not as apparent on the capture as it is on my screen. Like, you know, fine. The model looks so good. Once again, the ability to skip doors, though, is the real MVP of all this. Make sure I'm in the right place or the game won't recognize that I'm there. Hey, one of the things we have to collect. Hell yeah. We've not bothered with these yet at all. Also, one of the things they did, it works on modern controllers. If you want to use a DualSense controller, or like a, uh, or an Xbox controller, or what have you, like, modern controllers just work with this. Which, in and of itself, is a really cool thing. You know? Like, it's really neat that, like, that is the thing that they decided to make it work with. Because playing this on mouse and keyboard would suck. Like, these games were not intended, even back in the 90s, to be played on mouse and keyboard. They intended you to have a joystick. You know, or a controller. Because, like I said, most people, when they played this originally, it was on either... I didn't need the sock, and I don't know why I picked it up, but... Um, because in all reality, the, uh, broken shotgun is pretty much just an item Chris needs, not Joe. Joe can need it if you don't go through the other hallway first. If you go through, like, any other direction, like upstairs or what have you. Um, you need the, uh, broken shotgun because Barry won't be around to save you. But, it's super, super good to, like, grab the shotgun early, you know? That's just locked. Will you use lockpick? Sure will. Give me them shotgun shells. Which are apparently supposed to be 200, 8.02 millimeter NATO M32 cart. What the fuck? None of that makes sense to me. And here's a ultimately useless room. So this is where you get the uh, the special costumes. Like that door back there, it's gonna tell me I don't have the key for it, which normally it would say it's locked. You don't have the key for this room. It's outright telling me like you can't do anything here. Once again, I fucking love the door skip. So good. Alright, we're gonna dump. Actually, huh. Richard's still alive. Hey, Richard's still Richard, alive. Richard, what happened? Usually I unlock that door too early and wind up killing Richard. Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake and also poisonous. It wasn't poisonous, it was venomous. Poisonous? Poisonous is you Richard, bite it and hold you die. On. Venomous is Very it bites slow. you and you die. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. This is the worst no voice problem. acting in this whole game. People give Barry so much shit, but this Thanks. one sucks. Just gonna take a breezy walk to the other side of the mansion real quick. Yep, I know where it is, game. We've already cleared out everything between us and them, so it's literally just a jog back. But also, 
There's an item box in there, so we'll dump off all of our shit. Or, well, most of our shit. Jill. Jill just gets hung up on the corner. I mean, shame girl, but, you know. I don't need that, I don't need that. I do not wish to carry these with me. I do not wish to carry these with me anymore. And yeah, of course I can get rid of everything else fairly quickly. Alright, back back to Richard now that we have the serum. Which it's a good thing Richard remembered where the serum is. Or has poisoned the snake bite. Alright. Here's Richard. the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. You actually can take Jill, too long and have here's Richard die. My radio. You should keep it. I'm No! You're Richard. what, Richard? You're what? Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. I also love the damage on him, because it does look like a giant ass snake bite. You know? Poor poor Richard. Richard's dead. Well, let's loot his corpse. Oh, Richard only had one magazine. That bum. Alright, we're gonna unlock this door. But first... The shield key. But we're not gonna go in here just yet. I guess technically we could. It's not stopping us. It's not illegal or anything. Eh, yeah, fuck it. YOLO. Oh no, a giant snake. Like Richard said there was. Whatever will we do? Oh no, the snake has outsmarted me. Pardon me, sir. Mr. Yawn, sir. The snake has a name, it's Yawn. And I'm poisoned. Which is unfortunate, because I'll have to, you know, walk a distance, but, you know, it is what it is. You don't actually have to fight the Yawn. You don't have to fire a single fucking shot at him. There's no condition to beat him. Like, give me the serum. The crest is there the moment he spawns. Actually, I think it's there before he spawns. Uh, what dark figure is this? Also, by the way, if you're if you have damage given to you, which also I'm pretty sure you only just gave me the first damage of the run. Um. You get a full heal here. Like, just straight up, you're back at full health. So it's kind of worth it. If you want, like, a free heal. Barry. Barry? I, too, wake up yawning and asking for Barry. You know. For reasons. Uh, wooden crest... I want those shotgun shells back. We're going to combine them. Put them back in the box, because we do not need them right now. We're going to go on our Mary. gonna go back to that other hall and unlock all of the doors and do all of the things. 
because there's another crest in the next room we're going to go into that we need. Which, it's a puzzle. See if you all can figure it out. There's a big red button in the middle. Two vents. And a display case. Something can be seen in the showcase. Heavy looking suits of armor. And a button. I wonder. Oh, never mind. I thought you could walk on the button. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yeah. Oh no. Poison gas is escaping. So yeah. Don't push the button. How however will we solve this though? I'm sure I'm sure these statues make an airtight seal over these vents. There's no possible way this wouldn't work. There's a switch here, will you push it? I just realized where the next crest is. And, uh, ooh, it's gonna be a lot of reading there. The sudden crest. I've not found anybody who's 3D modeled these yet. So I cannot have my own set of, um, of crest. And it's, it's a little offensive. I'm a little upset about it. I would like my own set of the, uh, of the sun, moon, wind, and earth crest. Hey, a lighter. Now we can smoke. Like Chris. So that's one of the things from the intro that's censored. Um, not just the blood and gore and violence, but the fact that Chris Redfield smokes is also censored in the, uh, in the remake. Yes. I had to think for a minute if this is gonna fuck me over, and I don't think it will. Researchers will. The letter, the top of the letter is missing. The remaining says, yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. Most frightening thing is that I forget more about you by the day. So I choose a peaceful death, rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Goodbye and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. Poor, poor Martin Crackhorn. how big that dragonfly is. Hold up. I was just about to make the joke about, like, how big that spider is, but then I realized, like, oh, the game actually has, like, giant spiders in it. Fucking dragonfly and butterfly are huge. But we'll push this out of the way, and then push this out of the way. And to reveal the hidden thing. And it's grenade rounds. I was mistaken. I thought that that would be something else. And we have one more place to go real quick. And this is just a little flourish, if you will. Um, just to get a map. Map of the second floor. Will you take it? You've got the second floor map. Alright, this whole second floor is done. The... The other side of the mansion is done. I still need that because there is something I want to get upstairs. These I don't need. There's one more armor door. So I'm going to get rid of these. 
Then we're gonna do a little bit more cleanup, but we're gonna shave real quick. Always practice, you know, always practice new shaves. But once again, it feels weird to me not having to have an ink ribbon in my inventory. Like, it legitimately feels wrong. You know, I guess they didn't include, like, Joe's version is, um, like, Joe is very easy. No, don't want to say it like that. Joe's campaign is very easy in this game. And I think it's partly due to the rental market. Like, being that this is a PC game, they don't have to worry about, like, you know, people renting it, playing the entire game over the rental period, and then not buying the game. Which, Japan always kind of had a thing for, like, not liking the rental market. Um. By the way, I always thought those plates looked like planets. They always reminded me of, like, a, uh, like, planet decals that you'd put up on your wall. Pardon me, Richard. I said, well, I'm up here. There's two. Yeah, we'll take them. We'll have those. Of course, now I'm just kind of cleaning up. Like, the amount of time I've been running around and not even bothered to equip a weapon. Because I think the next enemy we're going to encounter is... Next enemy we're going to encounter is for a, isn't for a, a... Like, is going to be in a moment, but... It's not really, like, a problem. But real quick, we are going to get rid of these. Ba -da -da -da. All right. Is that lights on? The lights are still on, good. Real quick, we're just gonna get rid of those because we do have one more room to sack. Of course, I want to get rid of this fucking armor key. But in all reality, we really don't need much in that room. Like, it's just a bunch of health items. I actually think it might be a little bit more trouble than it's worth. But, you know. Why not unlock everything while we're here? You've used the armor key. You can get rid of the armor key. My memory of the, uh... My memory of the remake keeps fucking me a little bit with this room. Because it, uh... One, two, three, four, five. One, two... Okay. Uh, my memory of this room keeps telling me to uh, that it's not locked by the armor key, it's locked by a small key or the lock pick. Of course, in the remake, it's the lock pick or a small key. So my mind keeps telling me, no, 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 that isn't an armor door. The first time I picked this game back up after a long time of not playing it and just playing the remake, it I spent like a good like 10 minutes going, where the fuck's this last armor door? before I actually, like, remembered. But yeah. Now we have so much healing item. We never have to come back out here again, so that dog gets to live. And this hallway is never going to be entered again. Say goodbye. Go ahead and run to the item box right quick. Get rid of all this health item I just got, which, by the way, like... I now have more than enough health 
that I will need throughout the game. I'll still pick up more, of course. Because, you know, why wouldn't I? Alright. We have a puzzle. And crows, as you can hear. The title, the, the title is, All Living Things Are Destined to Die. So we have to do the life of a person. First we have a picture of a newborn baby. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yes. Then it is a picture of an infant. Which, by the way, I didn't realize infant and newborn were actually different things. I thought they just kind of both referred to the same thing, but apparently not. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yes. And this is a lively boy. Picture of a lively boy. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yes. And then it is a young man. Yes. And a middle-aged man? If I remember correctly. Tired middle-aged man. Yes. Same. Push that button. Then we'll loop back around to my favorite one. A picture of a bold-looking old man. Will you push it? Yes. And then finally, a picture of people mourning for the dead. Will you push it? Of course. I don't fully under- I also I love how the music gets so sinister when you do this. final crest and there we go mansion one complete let's, let's go ahead and push this who's ready for my least favorite combat in this whole fucking game because this room sucks sucks in the original it sucks in the remake it just sucks Like, if I'm going to get damaged to the point where I actually need health items, it's going to be out here. Okay, that surprisingly went well. Fuck it. It's another one of the curse where I say something's gonna suck and I'm gonna be bad at it and then I do great. Brad, this is Jill. God damn it. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It Anybody? Matter. Please? Anybody answer me? Please? Brad? Brad! All right, let me run down here. There's a map just on this wall for some reason, but that's mine now. I do have room to take all these healing items. I just have to remember I only have three bullets in my gun. That may be a problem later on. Crickets are so cute in this game. The The outside ambiance is actually pretty good. Surprisingly. Like hearing the dog howl in the background. Like. It's kind of like it's eerie and desolate. But sounds like outside. It's nice. Like they did a good job. The uh, localization is not great. But, you know, they did what, what they could. And now I've made full heals. And we're about to hear the most awful, obnoxious sound in the whole game. It's a literal fucking nightmare. Or one of. There are two rooms... There are two rooms in this game that are kind of fucking awful. 
when it comes to sound. There's this part where we're gonna drain this fucking pool. Which I forgot to check the crank. How will I know? It's been a minute since I saved. Fire it back up, I guess. We'll see if it works, I guess. And we didn't get to see this little intro video thing, so we get that at least. Sarah was evil for a different reason. I always keep them guessing, I guess, you know? Evil. Um, it's this one. Shit. See, the major problem with this is I don't 100% remember what else I had to do. Like, I have the lighter on my person, so I assume I have to go get that the ammo in that room, still. So we'll run and do that real quick. I still have the armor key, which means that I probably still need the, uh... Where the hell you were? Exactly, yeah. Like, realistically, I should have saved after I did all this running around. Um, that would have been smart of me. And I'm willing to bet I still have all three crest in my inventory, or in my uh, item box. Oh, we have some acid rounds. Which, hold on, I actually want to see something. If I remember correctly. No, they just say grenades on them. Never mind. There's a, one of the games, I think, which once again, those look like planets to me. Um, one of the games, I think the grenade rounds are actually labeled, like... They're actually, like, umbrella branded, which is weird. You know? Let me take these plants. Zell on her fucking green thumb. Yeah, I don't fully get it. Which other way? Like, I get it, but I don't, like... I want to say it might be Code Veronica, but I might be wrong on that. Or it might even be the DS port of this. Um, but one of them, I feel like, has, it's one of the ones with a 3D item checker, so I know it isn't two or three. Um, because you can't check items in 3D space in two or three. Sun crest, moon crest, wind crest, yep. Oh, it's a little quality of life thing they didn't add until 2. I didn't want to check them. Um, you can't just click on an item in the box and combine them. So if you want to combine ammo, like put it in a stack, you actually have to pull it out and combine it like I just did. And it's kind of a fucking nightmare. It's kind of fucking bad. Also, um, there's no enemy physics, um, like, when you, um, when you get attacked by an enemy, if you push them off, they don't collide with other enemies, so you can easily get stun locked, and just get, like, I'm sure there's a, I'm 100% sure there's a more civil way for me to put it, you get pretty much just, like, gangbanged by two zombies, back and forth, like, and not in the fun way, until you're dead. You can also get, um, 
You can also yeah. lose your ammo. Um, basically, you... Like, you can get hit, and the it'll cancel out you firing, but you'll still lose that shot. Like, this game has a bunch of, like, really evil kind of things going on. Happens a lot with hunters, particularly with the shotgun. Like, the poof of smoke will happen out of the front of the barrel. You'll lose a round, but the hunter won't get hit. The sound effect doesn't play. It's fucking a mess. You know? I didn't want a second. But yeah, like, it, it's bad sometimes. Like, the game does little things that are, like, kind of unfair. And now we never have to go into this hallway again. drop off all this bullshit I had to pick back up. I really hope that cutscene just isn't, like, completely borked. I'm thinking about it now, it's like... I really hope that that works. to do this puzzle again. Sorry, this puzzle. I don't know why I've, I've been able to commit this puzzle to memory so easily. Like, I've never had to, like, actually stop and read these. Like, I'm so worried right now because I'm talking shit. I am going to... I'm going to fuck... I did fuck it up. I fucked it up. Actually, yeah, let's show what happens when you fuck it up. This is a learning moment. Because I skipped a boy. I fucked up this man's life. Pros are killing me. Yeah, they... I don't fully understand how this trap works. If you do it wrong, the crows descend off their perch and attack. Which are not really a problem. Which are stupid, but... Like, how does that work? Like, does it just kind of send electricity through the thing they're sitting on? Are the birds just kind of, like, knowledgeable about this puzzle? It's like, all right. <laughs> See? Fuck. I was too busy talking shit. I skipped infant. This was just stressing for time. <laughs> Newborn. Infant. Lively boy. Like, I don't... But I don't, though. I don't fully understand how this puzzle works mechanically. Like, do, do the birds recognize that I fucked up? Like, does it shoot electricity through that pole? And, it, and like, the birds just kind of, like, go up. Time to get to work. Like, unless I shoot at them. I'm pretty sure the only way for the birds to, like get triggered other than fucking up the puzzle is to shoot at them. I'm not 100% on that, so in a moment I'm going to shoot at these fucking birds, but... Yeah, okay. That does trigger the birds. Apparently you can also trigger them by murdering one of their own. I, I was correctly remembering that. Also, one of the fucking lovely things that this mod adds is fucking active reload. That is such a nice feature in these games. Being able to, like, halfway through a mag, just be like, I'm gonna slap into one in. 
is so fucking good. All right, let's take the crank. What kind of crank? A square crank. Well, the quick turn doesn't work on top of an item. Like on, like on top of that stairs. The zombie dogs in this are kind of gnarly looking. Let it be a triangle crank. Triangle crank would be awful. It's like a safety, uh, or, uh, not a safety, a security torque or some shit. Like, that'd be a terror, like, because you'd go to torque it and it would just strip. Like, I feel like you you wouldn't get a good... Brad? You wouldn't get Brad. good leverage on it. Alright, let's collect these again. I know I'm doing myself a great service by doing the exact same thing I've already done. Um, even though I don't need these health items. Like, I really don't. Like, I've been hit, what, like, once so far? Twice, maybe? Like, this isn't necessary, yet I'm going to keep picking them up. Because they're mine, and I want them. And once again, if you don't have a wealth of resources by the end of a Resident Evil game, did you even play a Resident Evil game? Although, to be fair, it also... I don't think it works exactly for this game, because there is a place where they give you a blue herb that I don't think a poison enemy is anywhere near. Um, let's see if it works. Um, but the fact that they just gave me blue herbs should tell me, like, oh, there's a poison enemy nearby. Alright, Jill. Crank. Crank it, Jill. Hey, there we go. The cutscene worked. I don't know why this is like a full-on FMV. I feel like this didn't need to be. But here we are. Okay. Okay. The water is running down the opposite side. Oh, so the weird frame rate of the uh, climbing up and down this stuff. Oh no, Adlers. I don't, like, do, do people get caught by those? Also, I feel like they should still be falling on her head. One more dog? Is there one more? No, there's not one more dog. Huh. Also, the water is running from the upper water way past us. There's something in the back. Well, can't walk through water. God, God forbid Jill walks through water. Jill does not want to get her hair wet. Canonically, that's what it is. Jill does not want to get her hair wet. Which I get. Wet hair kind of sucks. Jesus Christ, dog. Yeah, those will be a later trip. What's the thing, though? Like, I don't... Like, why, why not run? Why not run by? You can, you can just run past. Hey, it's save room. Now that we're past that evil, evil fucking cutscene. 
such safe. You know, after I do some mild, you know, inventory maintenance for all of my fucking health items. All of my quarter of a million fucking health items I need. I don't think I need the lighter again. What else? Uh, da, 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 da. What else? Close rounds. Combine. You know what's weird? There's a third grenade type. Like I feel like it's not a uh, not a secret. There's a third grenade type: flame grenades. I honestly do not know what like. They're fine in that, like, they will kill the enemy in one hit. But I don't fully understand why they're in this game, because, like, you get them after you fight the plant monster. It's weird. Anyway, I have to go pee, so I will be right back. In the meantime, grab yourself something to drink, grab yourself something to eat, or just sit here and enjoy the clips. Either way, I will be right back. I don't know how much longer the than normal this bathroom break will be. It's not like it's right outside my door. It's down a hallway now. I'm EP. Fair. I, I'm i EP too. And I get... No! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. And you... <laughs> oh, just dread your glories. <laughs> oh, I love this. You get all the emojis. Because <laughs> I don't remember the inside of cop the inside of the clock tower ever being shown. Because I just had to clean all of this shit. And I'm not a fan of it. I don't remember them showing this room. I didn't, you heard me. I... Listen, I... I flubbed one word, and y'all... Express down. Now, that's why I'm going crazy. I know that nothing I do will bring her back. I pray that our sins do not pass down to our children. Please forgive us for what we have done. Lots of reading, but it's nice to listen to. Thank you, Sylvan. How are you doing today? How is your Thursday treating you? Like, I... I really like investigatory things. Um... I don't know what I gained from this house. That Big Mac. And that's kind of what I think of all the time, where it's like, I was really craving something, and it wound up being awful. I don't know how I did that. All right. So you know what's weird, and I'm having some trouble getting used to? Upstairs, I had carpet, which is also why I'm a little worried about uh, sound, because there's no carpeting or like anything. It's just a wall in front of me and then hard floor. And I'm worried about sound bouncing. I didn't get a chance to test my microphone to see if that's actually a thing, and I'm hoping that my noise gate would pick it up if it is, but I didn't get a chance to adjust things. Um, but the other problem is I have wood floors now, or vinyl floors that look like wood, or MDF floor, I don't know, they're not real wood, um, but like, my chair just kind of like flies now, like, like I so easily roll. And I'm not used to that. Although it is convenient, because I did set up my little writing desk over there. So, 
when I want to go to my writing desk, I just kind of, you know, zoom on over by rolling. It's just weird to me. Like, I've always had carpeting. So, like, it's unusual to me to have this freedom? Range of movement? Not really sure what to call it. spiders by running away but they're dead and they didn't hurt me and now here's for a puzzle we'll do later it looks like a clock some kind of code a three ball a six ball And a nine ball. So, if it looks like a clock, we have. We'll grab a pen and zip. Whatever the fuck these are called, post-it notes. Hell yes, ball puzzles. Not really ball. Oh, why are you so moist? Not y'all, the pen. Um, if that is six, uh, three, 45, 45-ish. So I disassembled the, uh, I disassembled the, um, cam pen because I ran out of ink with it. So now I'm trying it out as the pen it's actually intended to be. So anyway, I started blasting. Um, I disassembled the tan pen to try it out, and you know what? I think I'm with Selvin on uh, what he said in the Discord. I don't think I'm a fan of Zinhao pens. Like, it dries out real bad. But I did also realize that I, uh, I don't know why I always check to see if there's something in there. You pens out there, you ain't gonna like, yeah. Yeah, no, like, I fully expected eventually I'd find something. But everybody raves. Everybody raves about Jin House and how, like, good they are. And I don't like them. I have two, and neither of them are all that impressive. Everything has bullets in it. I think. No, nope, wait. I forgot. Which, by the way, that thing I don't actually think damages you. That, uh, lower tentacle. I think it just scares you. I don't think it actually hurts you. But it is annoying. But yeah, I also realized that, uh, I like matching the pens to the ink. Because my instant thought was, well, that green, that pen is a, a clear green. Clearly, I should fill it with green. All right, let's, let's do this real quick. What was it, 345? 
Well, you push the keys, yes. Three, four, five. And that's how you do it. it. It's a clock. Like, I don't... And that unlocks that door. Which will be a later... Uh, a later problem. But we also have to run away from the fucking bees. Or actually hornets. They're not actually bees. They're hornets. I, I would like to apologize to my family, to my viewers, my friends. Um, it was insensitive of me to call those hornets bees. I apologize. It was insensitive. And it shouldn't have happened. I need that, and I need that. I don't need that. Two. Key for room two. So based off this game, I made a Reddit post a while ago about this. I am unsure of how many people worked at the Arkale Mansion. Like, it was clearly, you know, a few, but like, all right, real quick, let me, something is written on the wall. Here's another puzzle, and it's kind of math, so it's evil, but this is how you make the Vigilt, <coughs> which we haven't learned about yet. I'm slightly sequence breaking, but, you know, one plus two equals three. Three plus four equals seven. Two plus four equals six. Six plus seven equals thirteen. And I'm solely writing this down so I don't have to recheck this wall a million times. Three equals sixteen. But it's a real easy puzzle. Like, And then I think over here it's written, something's written on the wall. Water, one. Red, two. Purple, three. Green, four. So that's our little codex. We need at least two bottles to start. And we have to do one and two, which would be water and red. Will you put water in the empty bottle? Yes. Yes, I will put water in the empty bottle. Ooh, water. Okay, I lied. I can't fuck with these chemicals until I read that paper. So, we're gonna have to hold off on that. Key for room two. I swore you could do it out of order. I think this is the paper for it. Plant 42 report. Six days have passed since the accident, and plant... And the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T-virus differently than other plants have been, and shows unique shape and in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it originally was. There are two ways in which plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first is through its root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily la imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the ducts and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second, re they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. It then starts sucking up blood using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by, tw by twining its vines around, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. May 21st, 1998. 
Henry Shat Sharton. I also like how these all have names. Like, there's people attached to this. And I was wrong. The plant, the Vigil is in another room. Alas. But what's this? A hidden staircase? Also, could you imagine being the person who ha would have to... Ralph wrong about Resident Evil 1? I often am confused about many things. Um, so realistically, I will occasionally have problems with this particular Resident Evil. Because I've played so much of both this and the remake, they start to blend together. You know? And because they're so similar... Because once again, that was the gold standard for remakes. Like, full stop. That was, if you wanted to make a remake, that was what you had to judge yourself against. For a very long time. Because they are similar enough, I kind, my brain kind of goes, wait, no, it's this one. Not this one. Oh, okay, well, then it's here. No, it's in the other room because I missed all. But it's, I actually think that, like, that's a good thing to a point. <clears throat> that I get confused because they are so similar, you know? They did a good job with the remake. Because it's also, like, they could have just gone with literally a shot-for-shot shot remake, just make the graphics look better and do nothing else. They added content. They changed things around. Like, the dog jump scare that everybody thinks of from the beginning of this game doesn't happen in the beginning of this, or doesn't happen in the beginning of the remake. You actually go have to go out of your way to find it. You know? Oh no. Something's in the water. Something's gonna... Something's gonna give Zilla a little bite on her tushy. Unless I'm gonna, you know, use this key and get away from it quickly. Whatever will I do? How, how will I deal with the shark outside? Yeah, you know, one of the, a predator so great that it has survived longer than fucking trees. Oh, I just removed the water. I mean, which, by the way, is it is a fact that continually just lives rent free in my brain that sharks are older than trees. Like, trees had not formed on Earth when sharks, like, existed, or started existing. Sharks are wild. They should have a whole week where they just talk about sharks. Their living sound stuck with it, yeah. I mean, like, realistically, the only real... <laughs> they really should, yeah, right? I I bet you it would be a cultural phenomenon. Um, the only real evolutionary difference from my understanding of, like, prehistoric sharks and, you know, modern shark is size. Like, they've just gotten smaller, mostly. Which is wild to think about. And I've just killed three of them. Remorseless. Sharks are scary as shit, though, too, to be fair. Like, I saw a video the other day where somebody, they had some shark that was, like, not able to hunt, so they were feeding it. Like, regularly feeding it, not just, like, a one-off. And they're like, look, the shark, the shark smiles when it comes up, when it sees us and comes up to us. I'm like, that... There ain't many animals I'm, like, outright like, yeah, no, there's nothing, there's nothing behind those eyes, just hatred and evil. Sharks are one of them. Like, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little afraid of sharks at the very least. Alright, we want this Vizolt document. 
Weasel Report. As stated in the last report, there are, common, there are some common features found in the cells of the plants infected by the tyrant virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found that an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number, tw number 16. Well, look who's getting banned today, Agent X. Ban. I shall drop the hammer. All right. UMB 16, one of the series of UMB chemicals that we use for an experiment. We named this UMB 16 as Vizolt. In our calculation, it will take less than five seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the Vizolt directly on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create Vizolt, but the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. UMB Red NP003 Purple UMB4 Yellow UMB number 7 White UMB13 Blue Stimulating Smell and Vizol UMB number 16 Brown there are Two Red I actually think it shouldn't be written on the wall. I think it should be um yellow six four green. I actually think you should have to get the numbers from this document, not on the wall. I like it making you look at documents. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I think it would be a cooler idea for them to be like Oh, this puzzle, you have the puzzle to figure it out. Like I feel like both of them being written on the wall kind of make it too easy. But then again, they might have play tested it and people just wouldn't get it. real quick and drop off some shit. Although I guess technically they do give you six flame rounds before you fight the plant. So what I was saying earlier was just stupid. And I'm gonna get rid of my handgun. I'm gonna get rid of my shotgun. I want to add the shotgun shells to one pile. I literally have 50 shotgun shells. 56 shotgun shells. Like... Why? Why is this game acting like it's tough again? Also, another thing they didn't add until later. You can't combine ammo. Or you can't reload the grenade launcher with um, a different ammo type while you have ammo in it. Which I feel like we've done a lot, so... Save your progress. Will you save? Yes. Yes, I will. Yeah, I, I like the little, like... The puzzles in this aren't hard. They're a little esoteric at times, sure. There's UMB number two here. Will you put UMB in the empty bottle? Yes. Oh, shit. Two lists and rated my stream with four viewers. So Firebot uses out to lunch, or what? Howdy, Truist. Made ball by bitch. Good to hear. You were... I was just watching your stream right before I got started, and I can't remember what you were playing at the moment. But how's it going, everybody? Also, howdy, August. How are you? Um, Killbot, how are you today? Let me give Truist a shout-out. Diablo. Because why should she be any different from the rest of us? 
these goddamn angsty fucking teenagers. We should pop all the rest of the trophies. Tuned in sooner. Hey, I get it, man. I get it. All right, we, we, uh, we all got things to do. Like, which is cool. Um, but how was your stream, Truest? Now we have number three, which I have to mix with number four. We're, we're doing a number puzzle because... I know math roll is a fucking joke to video games. Because I wanted to test his PC audio. The last extra person on the stream had no audio issue. Had audio issue. No audio issues. Audio issues. Then I decided to stay. Be the first playthrough of a million for D2. Diablo 2 is not the newest one, right? Like, I'm, I'm wrong about that. I need to combine three and four to make white. Then I need two and four. Diablo yeah, four is the newest. Okay, I thought I was a bit off with that. We're playing as newer. Oh, I didn't even know there was a remake of it. People really like Diablo. Diablo is one of those games I don't get it, but people love it, and I'm happy for them. While we're just mixing up chemicals here. Um, and get going on our plants for Halloween. I mean, so, like, they're not, they're not hard plants. Like, they're, you can very, you can very reasonably do them, you know? Like, I, it, especially if you've done other games, like, you should have no problem with it. You know? I need to make three to get 16, which is that and that. I, uh, one of the missteps for this, because this is the, uh, good old games port that just came out not too long ago. Vizolt, we did it. We chemicaled. Um... Son of a bitch, I did forget the book. Um, one of the, like, things that I think is kind of a misstep for this, they didn't add any achievement for them. Which they did an AMA on, um, on the Resident Evil subreddit. And they said, like, it, it would be very difficult to add, um, to add them in. Like, from nothing. So I get why they didn't do it. But it would have been nice. Like, I would have really liked to have, like, achievements for the first one. You know? Especially since, like, this is a game I've played a ton. Hell, I've beat it five times since it came out. Like. Like, I love this game. But, like... It would be nice to have, like, something new that isn't in the original, you know? But they did give us the most important feature they could have given us. Door skipping. And fuck this onion. I like how it's literally just a flat texture that just gets smaller. <laughs> like... They did not even try and bless them for it. They did not give a shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, look at it shrivel. I mean, to be fair, you are like a 3D model running around on JPEGs. Like, that is what Resident Evil is. Also, did it not let me get rid of these fucking bottles? Stream is gonna be fun. I'm trying to figure out how many times I'm gonna die. Maybe I'm Mr. I swore y'all said they're, uh... Um... That you beat Demon Souls, but I might be Mr. I very possibly misremembered. 
Um, for this one, no. To be fair, this is the 1996 release of this game. Like, uh, beat the first boss. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Um, like, there is not... Like, this, this was originally for... No, no. This is the good old game support that just came out. And the plant is dead. Um, but this came out, I think, originally for, like, Windows 95? Windows 97? I thought Barry would come in and save me, but apparently not. I wanted Barry to save me. I, we did all that work for nothing. Wesker! <laughs> you did something wrong. <laughs> Clearly. Jill, so you're <laughs> Tower Knight, Fool's Idol... That's what I was going Jack, to say. I killed Jack Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I... I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? Exactly. Exactly. It was all I could 100%. do to protect myself um, against those strange creatures. I played the first Is Dark right? Souls. I got anyway, it. It's good I got to it on my PS3 say. just on a whim. Jill, our first priority is to get <laughs> this out is... of here. Yes, you're right. This is well before that. <laughs> um... Now there are a lot of rooms in that. Which actually, there's a thing I can't get can into because they're locked up. Later, if I do. I have it been right. looking around for clues. Okay. If we get I'll the right the ending, house, there's a thing I can, I can show find off. Any clues? Which Will goes to that? tell you what they thought of I'm West. Counting on you. Um. But. By the way, he was just shooting at bees. Which I get. These are massive fucking hornets, but still. Um. Damn, I've lost my train of thought again. Why does he have such a candid picture of Rebecca? <laughs> Ooh, that, that is the creepiest mystery in all of Resident Evil. What the acid rounds with me. Yes, yes. Now I'm loaded up. Eh, we're fine. I'm not gonna save. Blame she makes me thirsty too. You, you know what's funny? The original this dev team hated it. Rebecca. They did not like her at all. That's why she doesn't really show up in much. This is Jill. Brad? Oh, it's broken. Thanks, Jill. Good to know the radio is broken. Personally, I'm more of a Claire man myself. But Barry is the Jill. Not really. Barry Barry does everything but play the video game for you. Like in all reality, I think if I didn't make the V Jolt, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have had to fight all of the plant. I would have only had to do the first phase. And then Barry would have come in with a flamethrower and killed the plant for me. Like, you get the shotgun super early. Because Barry comes and saves you. Um, I think there is a, there is a sequence. Uh, not I think. I know there is. There's a sequence where you can do it to where the f the plant will grab Chris and hold him, and Rebecca will have to go make the Vigil, and then you fight it. Um. So look at this. Look at this cutscene. This full cinematic they made. Hey, wasn't there a door there? Reptilian ass hands. There's actually a really neat, like, little detail in the hunters, but I'd have to let one hit me for it, and, uh, I ain't a bitch. You ever played D? Okay, I'm... I don't know... I've never played it, obviously, because I'm confused, but isn't... 
Is that I'm confusing it with another game, I think. There's like D four or something like that. Like Dark Dreams Die Deathly or something like that. PS1 horror game. Okay. I've never played it, no. It's a very um like it's a uh, Japanese horror game too, or like like full on Japanese, isn't it? The one I'm thinking of is like um Oh, you bitch. Okay, so there's the detail I was talking about. When he slashed me, his red, his uh, claws went red. Put some bullets in the back room, Jill. Use them in case of trouble. Barry. It was like Resident Evil, but first person. That does sound cool. Similar to Clock Tower. I couldn't get the first Clock Tower game to work. When I tried to emulate it, because, you know, built the emulator. Um, oh, item management. You fickle bitch. But I never got around to, like, really diving into a lot of, like, other horror on PS1. Because, like, while I am a horror guy... Resident Evil was just kind of like my game. It was, it was like the game that I, I actually, I'm playing through Haunting Grounds on my VR. Like I didn't play it originally, but I'm playing through it now on my VR. Which I know sounds like the weirdest way to play it. Um, but there's, um, there's this thing called like a. Uh, they put in, no, it's stupider. It's far stupider. There's this um. Oh God, I can't even think of the name of it. There's this program that does like emulators for VR. But essentially, you're like in a bedroom in the '90s. Yeah, like, you're in a room in the 90s, and, like, you have TVs and game systems. It's kind of neat. I, um, I run it on my, uh, Quest 2, and it's actually really, like, nostalgically fun. You know? I definitely recommend it if you have a computer that's power powerful enough to run VR. Yeah, I decorated my room. I have, like, video game posters now on the wall, and, like, the wallpaper looks like the, uh... The Red Room from Twin Peaks. Okay. We, uh... Shit. There we go. I, for the first time ever, or for the first time in this playthrough, I am at yellow caution. Like, I'm back in my old bedroom playing old consoles again. That's kind of what it feels like. Like, there's something wild about, like, oh, let me put the disc in the thing and let me close it and power it on, make sure it's hooked to the TV. I, uh, but yeah, I'm playing Haunting Ground through that right now. Jill, oddly have enough. Have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? It's cool. I have a rope here. But I also have like a 50 oh, inch TV right well, here. Well, then I'll try to go and, like, down two using big, the rope. Like computer Wait. monitors. And I'm playing it in the Oculus. <laughs> like, where I'm sitting in a chair just in the middle of the room, like. It's so weird to me. Hey, what's going on? Like, it is cool. Now I've done like, it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry, you fucking Barry? fumbling motherfucker. Barry! So as a kid, time travels just go back in that budding area of video games again. I would rather play them from now because I would not like to go back to a lot of the other things from that era. Like, the food sucked. We didn't have the variety of food we have now. Like, all right, I remember being in the 90s.
Um, like, the internet was so slow hey, and so barren. Are you there, Jill? Grab like, the rope! So as a kid, I know I had to do this. I had to have done this because I know I've gotten the good ending as a child. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't for know some that reason or not, was going to happen. It blows sorry. my mind that you actually have to stand really there and callous. wait for Barry to come back. Are you okay, Barry? Because this is an ending. Maybe you're getting scene. tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill. We wait for Barry. I found yeah. something. But like as a kid, it's yeah. always just like, hey, no, you press through the thing. Like, why would I wait? The video game obviously isn't waiting. Be my favorite 03 or 04. Oof. I was a sophomore and a junior, respectively, during those times. Thank you. I'll take this then. <laughs> like, I, I've been playing this video game for 28 years. <laughs> like, I've been playing this one particular video game since then. Yeah, I'm 35. Okay, so you're in the same boat as I am. Like, it's the thing though, I don't I don't have nostalgic feelings for like the the technology or anything of the time period. I have nostalgia for like being young. You know? We would have been friends, probably, yeah. Like, hell yeah. But you get what I mean? Like I, I have nostalgia for like oh, I, I miss being, like, 16 and not having a care in the fucking world. Oh, God, G4. You did not survive that, you dickhead. Bright and colorful things were. Yeah, yeah, they're... I miss the design of a lot of things from back then. Like, I miss, like, every... Although, to be fair, there were a lot of shitty things back then, too. Like, old X-Play. See, what was the name of the uh, show on G4? The, the, the cinematics for video games. I forget the name of it. It might have actually just been called Cinematics now that I'm thinking about it. I used to watch that all the time. Because it was literally just like unnecessarily like disembodied cinematics from video games. Oof, I need a heal. Orders. Top secret. July 22nd, 1998. 2.13. See, cops, she, cops and Cheaters were both also on, like, Fox. If I remember correctly. Cheaters was that show where that dude got stabbed. The host got stabbed on that boat. Like, during the show. That shit was wild. To the head of security department. X day is approaching. Complete the following orders within the week. 1. Lure members of the stars into the lab and have them fight with the BOW in order to obtain data of actual battles. Two, collect two embryos per BOW type, making sure to include all species except for Tyrant. Three, destroy the Arkele lab, including all researchers and lab animals in a manner which will seem accidental. White Umbrella. Yes. The, I'll put it this way. The only Resident Evils I haven't played is... Outbreak, Outbreak File 2, and um, technically half of six. Oh, and um, Gun Survivor 2. I didn't play Gun Survivor 2 because it was fucking awful. It's a dream sequence. I mean, yeah, the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whole, like, that was actually a thing. The, um, the dude who directed Seven is going to direct the new Resident Evil, right? Like, uh, the director from Seven said that they're working on Resident Evil 9. Which is kind of fucking hype. 
I like Code Veronica, but Code Veronica has some problems. Like, Code Veronica particularly is a game that has a lot of, like, places where you can find yourself soft locked. Um, how do you feel about 7 and 8? I've recently had some weird discourse about it I've never heard before. I really like 7 and 8. I think 7 is very much like this game. 7, 7 is literally like the most Resident Evil you can be without being blatantly Resident Evil. Um, Good Veronica is the real 3. I'm sure you already knew that for those who don't. Tony complained that they were promised. Kind of, sort of. So that, that's one of those things. And I think, um, CVX Freak, he goes by on, uh, like, the forums and on Twitter and all that. He wrote a book about the history of Resident Evil and got a lot of interviews. It isn't so much that Code Veronica was meant to be three. It's that they were developed at the same time. And, um, where's this double herb I have? There it is. Um, and they decided to go with three being three because they did owe Sony a mainline Resident Evil. Which, you know, like, is understandable. Story wise, it takes place after two, though. Yes. I mean, there's also, like, I could re it all really give the smart Alec answer of it would have to. Because Code Veronica takes place, or involves Claire Redfield, which wouldn't make sense if it was before 2. 3 is before, during, and after. Um, when Zill is in the middle of the game, spoilers for Resident Evil 3, but see my spoiler policy of, we've played it on the channel. What's a Resident Evil Iceberg video? I might need to make a Resident Evil Iceberg video. <laughs> Like, realistically, I've thought about it before. Um, just doing... I have this idea for making a series called Dot 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 is Dumb. Because while Resident Evil is one of my favorite things in the world, not even just media, it's one of my favorite things in the world. This is, this is a comfort to me. Because I'm clearly broken in the head parts. You bitch. I fucking hate hunters. Um, but I have this idea for doing a series called Dot 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 is Stupid. Where I just go through how fucking stupid some of this shit is. Even though I love it, I can recognize it's dumb. Like, the entire story of Resident Evil is kind of, um, that shit and shame. Nope, I do need a gun game. I'm not that good. Well, actually, you can run this game as a, like... Oh, so I need a green herb, apparently. Um, where I just go through the story of Resident Evil and, like, other games, obviously. That's why it's not called Resident Evil, it's dumb, it's called Dot 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 is Dumb. I have! I've, I actually, I've only played the first Dead Rising, and I played the worst version of it. I played the uh, Wii version of that game. Because, you know, I make poor decisions. Yeah, shop till you drop. I... I think... Once again, this store is going to date me a little bit, too. I rented it from a Blockbuster. And I don't think we ever gave it back. Was how I ended up with Dead Rising Shop Till You Drop. Um, but I did like it. Like, to be fair, like, having not had the experience of Dead Rising, I did really enjoy it. And I rented Bully on Wii from Movie Gallery. <laughs> we didn't have Blockbuster in my town. Oh, um... Technically speaking, neither did we. Oh, shit. Remember how I was, like, getting through most of this game without getting hit a moment? Okay, game. That's a dick. 
That's a dickish camera angle. Oh, I'm a caution. Uh, um, I technically didn't have a blockbuster in my town either. It was like two towns over. But it was on the highway, so it was real easy. And oh, that's fine. I should be distracted. Because it's not fun to watch me just obliterate this. You might need to hoe that dead eventually. You know what? If Blockbuster reincorporates solely to get the, what, $50 I would owe for Dead Rising Shop Till You Drop, they can have it. I will gladly, gladly give that to them. You know what's weird, too? I've almost never played this game with headphones on. Like, I'm sure I have at some point. But, like, I literally don't ever remember a point where I would play this with headphones. You can hear a click when the gun runs out. The no. late fee, that'll get you. They can, they can take the late fee from my cold, dead hands. Which would late fees, late fees be accumulated? Oh, probably a lot. Okay, so real quick, y'all see how tiny this room is. This is not a big room. Like, just, you know, zill for scale. In the director's cut, if you're playing on, I think, a range mode, there's a fucking spider in here. It's like a fucking spider enemy. It just drops down from the ceiling when you walk in. Like, it's not a problem, it's just weird and annoying. Like, I never understood why they put that in there. It actually might be in the DS version. It looks like a 3 by 5 room. Yeah. Like, it's so small, I'm freaked out by the fact that there's a Sarah in here. If they had told me this was a broom closet, I'd be fine. Why is there a Sarah? Who is sitting in here? Who is sitting in this room just hanging out? Where the Dursleys put Harry? I'm gonna nod like I know that. I, I understand enough of that. Like, to be fair, I'm being a bit of an ass on that one. I Yeah, I don't Harry Potter. I, I was actually just talking with my co-worker earlier. Because I brought up My Immortal. Um, about how, even though I was about the right age for Harry Potter, and I was literally the demographic they were marketing it towards, I could not have given less of a shit about Harry Potter. Ah, uh, hoisted by my own petard. Caught up in the hype. Yeah, a lot of people did, and that's fine. My problem isn't people who liked Harry Potter. My problem is people who liked Harry Potter and went, and that's all the reading I'm going to do for my life. And then never moved on to any other genre fiction. I was more obsessed with a series of unfortunate events. I only know that through the Jim Carrey movie. And by through the Jim Carrey movie, I mean I only saw the trailers for the Jim Carrey movie. Or it might not even been Jim Carrey. I could be wrong about that. Raccoon Times, May 27th, 1998. Animal attack? Woman mutilated. May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of the Marble River in Cedar District of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assume... The way it's phrased there. She watched the Netflix series pretty good. It was... Neil Patrick Harris played a character in the Netflix show. Okay, cool. So, okay, I'm just combining the two in my head then. All right, that makes more sense. By the way, raccoon police, I'm imagining raccoons. Like, even though, like, in the context I know it's the city, the way it's phrased as raccoon, not raccoon city police, it makes me believe it to be little raccoons investigating a grizzly murder. Assume it to be a grizzly or other animals doing because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot. That show considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arkele Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify the woman. Raccoon Weekly, June 16th, 1998. They could be a grizzly murder investigated by raccoon police. Exactly. Well, they did say that. I'm pretty sure I pulled the word grizzly without reading it off of that note because I think it did say grizzly. Yeah. But also, Grizzly is a bear, so it works. But imagine just little raccoons in uniforms with hats, you know, violating your civil rights and, you know, not not 
having a closure rate. Um, monsters in the Arkale Mountain? Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arkale Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs, usually run in a pack as wolves do. Well, if it looks like a dog and moves like a dog. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hunt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them. So you smart readers should stay out of the Arkale Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, check it out. You want to try? Jesus Christ, who would write that? Like, that would be such a fucking irresponsible thing to write. Holy shit, it's almost 3 a.m. Um, Raccoon Time, July 9th, 1998. Mystery on the Arkale Mountains. Mountain road blocked. Due to successive disasters in the Arkale Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the roads leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon Police intended, intended to begin the search for lost people with the help of STARS team members. Oh shit, stretch and hydrate. No, but really though, why isn't... Like, thank you for the stretch and hydrate. I am concerned though as to why this isn't working. Use your app data overlay. Uh, audio via OBS. Are y'all hearing the hydrate and stretch sound effects? Like, are they just not coming through my ears, or...? No. So... As y'all can see... I'm somewhere different now. Like, straight up, I am somewhere else. Um, so that meant... I'll pretend I did. Well, no, no, don't pretend you did. If there's something sounds weird or something isn't working right, let me know because I had to do so much work and things are so broken. <laughs> that sound effect works. We did test that. Thank you, though, Killbot. Um, which, let me do the hydrate and stretch real quick. Um, love the color choices. It's the color theory for the characters. Jill is blue. Chris is green. Um, oh, but I, I had to reassemble so many things and fix so many things. And where's Barry? His color. Um, actually, I should have done Jill and Barry. It should be blue and red. You're not wrong. But... Like, I had to fix so many things, and I don't understand why they aren't working. And it's worrisome to me, because I have no idea, because that's all handled through Firebot, which shouldn't, isn't reliant on web hooks or anything like that. It's local. I guess it technically is a web thing. Your camera mounted to your desk. Kind of. Good old Firebot. Um, kind of, August. I have my camera in between my two monitors. So, like, what I'm looking at chat right now, it is literally right next to the lens. Um, I have it set up in a way where I can easily... I can easily look directly at y'all and read chat. Um, but I have it... I have a dual monitor stand. It has like a center like post. And I use these little like small rig clips with a um, arm on them to mount the camera. Like, I mean, I also have like, which by the way, nobody's done it yet, but like daddy cam still exists. I'm not sure about the angle yet. We're still not sure about it. But like daddy cam's here. Um, yeah, so, you'll find the lens really cool. It is a 16 millimeter, 
Um, 1.4? Yeah. And Jaguar Redeem. I, I knew I shouldn't have said it. Which, by the way, I no longer have a singular button to do daddy cam. It is now... It is now like a full-on... Like, I have to do it for every screen. Actually, no, I have to do it for a scene that isn't on my... Yeah, daddy cam is, uh, still has to get fixed. I also am just right now realizing that my camera's so far over. Ending. Um. But yeah, uh, 1.4. Like, is it 16? I feel like I'm wrong about it. Yeah, 16 millimeter, 1.4. Um, it's a Sigma lens. It's very nice. I, I literally, like, just spent all of my free time on eBay looking for this lens. Like, I spent so much time just kind of stalking every eBay listing for it until I found one that was under $300. Um, and I use a uh, Sony A6000 camera. Like, I, I pride myself on having a pretty decent camera set up. Although you guys are at a weird, like... A weird angle right now. I'm not sure how I feel about it. How are we feeling about this daddy cam angle? Because I got to tell you, I am... I'm not sure about it. Like, I, I'm not sure if I like it or dislike it. I think it's too low. But I'm not really sure where else I could put it. To make it, like, work. You know? Thank God that ended. I can look over the courtyard from here. It's a heliport. Perhaps an extension tube? Um, so I can't do that on the on this camera. This is a Logitech webcam. I, I have, I'm only running one camera for... I'm only running one expensive mirrorless camera. I ain't got that kind of money. Um, like, I do have some control over it. Like, I can zoom and pan and all that a little bit, and it has autofocus. I hate it because I don't have it set for that. It's just me figuring out where I'm going to put it. Like, right now, it's conveniently under my monitor. But, like, I could just as easily move it elsewhere. You know? There we go. I'm a little bit more centered, at least. Attach it to the ceiling. Well, that's the thing. I don't think Daddy Cam works if I'm looking up. I feel like y'all have to be below me for Daddy Cam, but it shouldn't be at, like, a blowjob angle. You know? Like, I feel like that's kind of weird. You know? Changes the context of daddy cam, too. In an uncomfortable manner for all of us. You know? Like, daddy cam used to be a little higher. It was more, like, up here-ish? Like, in relative to me. It was more like this, instead of all the way down here. I feel like y'all got less titty normally. Um, but yeah, I gotta figure that out. There's still some growing pains here. Um, like, there's a bunch of stuff to still figure out. I think sounds more right. <laughs> Who doesn't want more titty? I mean, you're not wrong. But yeah, like, I do feel like Daddy Cam still has a little bit of uh, figuring out to do. You know? Also, I feel like I can't do the awkward, like, leaning in and all that with it as easily. Which. We all. We all want me to do the lean in and talk to the camera thing occasionally. It's fun. Okay, dude, just, just die though, bro. Shit, I don't even think I need it to come down here. 
plot convenience I get, I can't even go further out. Um, but yeah, like, I have to figure that out. Like, there's still some growing pains and shit. His thumb always looked real weird to me. Let me just kill this real quick. You're doing great. I'm very proud of you. It's a weird angle, though. Doesn't work as well. Now I have to go through a weird thing to turn it off. Hold on. I'll be quiet for a second. Everybody's. There we go. So that's one of those maintenance angles, as I refer to it. Um, that's called crop cam. There's o the only things on there are are um are the two camera angles, like the uh like it's pretty much is like it's how I get this camera angle versus the wider shot for for my other uh thing, and it is so wildly like like troublesome to go in there and edit because I don't have a button for it. I don't have like because it's not something that ever is supposed to show up on stream. I'm fairly sure we're done the mansion. Macro pad for scenes. I have two of them. August. I, I have two. I have a loop deck and a uh, phone run and a stream deck. Um, I just don't, I never need a button for it, so I don't have a button for it, you know? It's one of those type deals. Yeah, no, I don't expect you to just randomly know what my setup is. That'd be weird if you did. Actually, yeah, it'd be weird if you, if you just kind of had, like, weird, like, implicit knowledge of my setup. But yeah, like, I, I, like, have them set up, it's just I've never... I never really need that button, so I don't bother with it, you know? It's one of those type deals. Damn, I got wounded again? Oh, yeah, somebody grabbed me, didn't they? Well, I guess I'll have to use one of my many, many healing items. Alright. I'm not mistaken, the next few enemies are, in fact, motherfuckers. So we're going to take these, and this, as well as these, and that. Iconic green herb. Oh, yeah. So, they're never explicit on it. Oh, so I shouldn't be running around like an asshole without a weapon equipped. Um, they're never explicit about it. But, like... Oh, God damn it. Every bit of this sucks. But, like, do they, like, do they pack the wound with the green herb? Do they smoke the green herb? Like, do they eat it? The secret is aloe vera. You know what's funny? I don't get sunburn. I really don't. Um, I got that good, you know, southern Italian heritage, you know, dark skin. By itself, yes, they just consume it. Like, but consume has many meanings. Do you mean they eat it? Because technically, you'd consume it by smoking it as well. Like, not to play, like, role lawyer on it. Whole pot, plant pot and all. I mean, it seems like some pot and all. Okay, come on. Funnel me a little bit. Funnel me a little bit as a treat. Ingest it, okay. I mean, technically. <laughs> Depending on which district attorney you're talking to, ingested could also mean smoke it. Um, but yeah, like, 
canonically, do they eat it? I'm playing on your windowsill, Joe. They make that joke in one of the adverts, I think, for Resident Evil 3 is like a bulletin board. And they actually do make the joke about who's been who's been eating all of my potted plants. And it's funny as shit. Like I think one of the like official like Resident Evil 3 like like ads was like a map of Raccoon City on a post-it like a like a cork board with a bunch of other random shit around it. And one of the things I actually think did say that. Which is funny as shit. Also, have you ever eaten basil? It's delightful. Basil is pretty tasty. Salt and pepper for the herbs. I mean... Pocket salt and pepper isn't the worst idea. Like, I can think of worse things to carry. Do I need blue herbs? No, I don't need blue herbs. I want to get rid of this because one of the... One of the great little quality of life things they added to this game when they uh when they remade it they added a fucking item box to where we're going and the last place where I go I'm moving to a place to save and then we're calling it a night because it is now 3 a.m. um but they put an item box down here and bless them for it because there isn't one down here now just just a typewriter so you would have to, time zones are such a trip. Yeah, it's not uh, 3 a.m. for you, is it? It's like midnight. But we've been playing for like three hours now, so. Or, never mind, that's the time. Two here. I mean, yeah. Let's go back to face cam. Every day is a fucking struggle. Main camera. There we go. Um, so yeah. That's more than half of Resident Evil 1. Not gonna lie, Thursday might be a short stream. Uh, there ain't much left after this. I will take my time for it, but... Um, so yeah. Uh, I'd say, I reckon, technically speaking, we are a quarter of the way through all of Resident Evil 1. Because there are two campaigns. But also, uh, while I got you here, I want to show off a thing. I got my thermos. My oh dear diner thermos. And it's like an actual fucking thermos. Like. I fought so hard to get this thing. I fought so hard. <laughs> I misunderstood time zones. I looked stupid in front of my friends. I spent uh, like 30 bucks on a thermos that I is going to sit on my desk. Although I might actually use it for coffee because it is a very nice thermos. And it does look cool shit. Remedy is a weird company. Because I want to give them money for dumb shit. They teamed up with, a people, who, with people who make thermoses who are more interested in making light bulbs than thermoses. And they're like, yeah, we didn't know there'd be the, the demand. Really? Really, Sam? Really, Sam Lake? You didn't know? I've been trying to give you money for stupid shit for like 20 years now. Actually, yeah, about 25 years now I've been trying to give Sam Lake money for dumb shit. Since I've played Max Payne. Cold things cold, and hot things hot. So apparently the reason why they picked um, Aram to make the thermoses is because it's the thermos Sam Lake likes. He's just he's just a fan of this one Finnish, like, which of course it's from Finland, um, Finnish thermos company. Like, it's not even a modern design. It is an old design 
with a glass inside. Like a lot of people are getting theirs and they're fucking broken because it's literally glass on the inside. But it does have like the little cup. You know, yeah. I have a Stanley I use most of the time. Like like an old fashioned like Stanley thermos I use. But I've wanted one of those oh dear diners thermoses since I played Alan Wick one. Like, come on, Sam. I would have I, I wanna buy things. I wanna give you money. Y'all need money, I know for a fact you do. Um But yeah. We'll call it there, I'm sorry. Before I go on my rant about fucking Sam Lake and bad taking care of bottles like that. I'm not too bad. I'm scared of that one. I'm scared of using it anywhere that isn't in my house because it is glass. And I am hard on things. I have vacuum sealed bottles like that I use all the time. Like, like this, that... I love you loving the thermos. Yeah. I do really enjoy it. My only problem is I don't have a place to put it yet. Like, there's going to be a shelf where the lamp is. That's going to have, like, my 3D printer and shit. I don't want to put it up there. Because 3D printer and shit. And I'm going to put where the toolbox is. You can see the drawers of the toolbox. Like... I'm going to put a cube shelf, which is going to have, like, all of my cameras and my random accoutrement and shit. So it'll probably go up there, but I won't have it in the background. You know? So it's, it's a struggle, really. Oh, actually, August, I just had to buy one of these. These are the clamps I'm talking about. Like, they're super useful. I highly recommend them for fucking everything. Like, these things are fucking great. Like, they're inexpensive. They're like 12 bucks a piece. I have one holding my camera. I have one holding my audio interface. There's one holding that light. There's one holding the hair light. There's one holding the green light in the background. They are awesome. Like, I'm going to buy a couple more so I can mount my phone and my uh, loop deck to the riser I'm using for my monitors. Like, they are great. Highly recommend them. Like, if you ever need to, like, throw a light on something, like, these will clip to pretty much everything and they hold where they are. You know? Like, cannot recommend those enough. Like, and like I said, they're not stupid expensive. It's 12 bucks for one of these and, you know, that... That value proposition is, you know, is what it is for each person. But they are so good. Like, I love these things. They're one of, the, like, the best little tools you can keep in your little tool bag, you know? Like, if you if you need to pop up a light or a bounce somewhere, just... Mm. For future reference, I've got my RGB light kind of stays on a tripod most of the time. My shelf box stays, for the most part, when I'm at my desk. Yeah. So, like... Hold on a sec. So, like, literally my hair light is attached to the drop ceiling right now with one. This is the one I just bought. Like, because I have the drop ceiling, I'm able to just kind of, like, attach them right to that. It, it's so good. Like, it took me, like, five minutes to maybe, with my OBS set up on screen, to put them in places where you can't see them on camera. Like, it, they work so well. Like, 100% recommend them. One of the best pieces of random, like, rigging that you can have, you know? Because I, I can't find good light stands anymore. Like, ones that are inexpensive. Like, this one, I have two of these. Or I have three of them, I think, technically. Um, I either have two or three, I can't remember. But I bought these, like, 2013. And they're so good. They're Cowboy Studio, uh... 
light stands, and I cannot find them any anymore. Like, I think they stopped making them, but they're so, like, so quick and easy to move. They're, like, they lock up nice and tight. You don't have to worry about something. Like, they handle the my bigger lights, my smaller lights. Like, these light stands are great, but I've not been able to find them again. Like, everything now has, like, the turn things that loosen up. And, like, you kind of have to, like, force the plastic to get tight enough. Like, there are no inexpensive light stands anymore that are good. I'm convinced of it. Everybody's using LED panels. Myself included. You know? Sorry, that is a very, deli very, very particular nerdy rant. Um... But yeah, so, aside from Firebot, completely shit in the bed, I guess. Everything seems to have worked all right. I do wish I had control over the uh, the game audio, but Loop Deck decided I'm not allowed. Um, and sound effects, I think. Sound effects, I think, yeah. I don't have sound effects uh, volume control either from here. Um... That about wraps it up for me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. And thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, for the raid, Truist. I greatly appreciate it. Um, let me give you another shout out right quick. I know how buttons work. <laughs> I also realized I can't hear your uh, shout out because I took my headphones off. The the sex with bit is really funny too because it does a bunch of various people, like, uh, oh shit, there it is, ha! It's completely noticeable. Look at it, look at that beautiful little pink guy. Oh, Aww. little pink. Guy. I love it. I love it so much. <gasps> oh, it's a girl. I love my little pink girl. There we go. Let's just throw that quick ball, baby. Little pink girl can be a little pink guy if they want. As a treat. No, you stay in that ball. You are going to stay in that ball. And it is completely noticeable, too. Like, compared to the other ones, that stands out a lot. I'm glad you were able to hang out as well, Zagboo. Once again, congratulations on the uh, the offer. Good job. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it turns out to be dope. Um, like I said, I will be back Thursday for the other half of this Resident Evil excursion. Um, next week, I'm not sure if there will be streams. Um, I'm covering a coworker shift while they're on vacation, and I will be starting my work at 6:30 a.m. and finishing my work. At 6.30 p.m. So I don't know if I'll have the energy. And if I do, it'll be far earlier than normal. Pray for me. I'm not a morning person. It's going to be rough. Um, but as always, you can find me at any one of these places up here. Or the easily clickable links right there in the chat or down in the description below. If you're watching in the future on the YouTube. Um, the week after, there definitely will not be any streams. Because I will be on vacation. Hopefully we will return to normal, uh, normal, uh, return to normal, the dog from Garfield, around uh, August 6th, I said. I think the 6th is a Tuesday. Either way, I will reiterate also, thank you for watching, thank you for lurking, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate every one of you, and I hope you all have a lovely rest of your week. I'll be back Thursday. Bye. Spy Kids 3 Game Over is my favorite movie because of its cutting edge special effects and Rocky Balboa being the main villain. I love when Junie says it's Junie time and proceeds to Junie all over everybody. I don't know what most of that means. Like, Ethan looks, like, if you look at Ethan, like, he looks like a, um, like a, if you look at a bald eagle dead on.
Like that confused kind of like look. I was like, cool, cool down. And then I realized, oh no.